So hold my hand, I'll walk with you, my dear. Hey, HB, I'm Hannah. And I'm Regan. And this is the HB Buzz on April 29th, 2014. Today's lineup is HB Buzz, Feature, and Outside the Hive. Announcements. Today is the HB Band Concert. I bet you'll all do great. Also, be extra quiet in the halls this week because of trust testing. Patrols, make sure to turn in your carpool for forms because they are due by Friday. Here, Here are, are the, the kids, kids going, going, going to Washington, D.C. for the National Science Fair. Zach Aff Affield. Sam Edwards. Kyle Feller. Matthew Ferru. Gabby Gramacki, Chris Hakenham, Jade Hugan, Casey Hennessy, Sophie Herzog, Nick Hughes, Kira McAllister, Logan Menning, Megan Newts, Tommy Erdahl, Carson Picard, Caitlin Savvy, Livia Selby, Aiden Spencer, Jasper Str Str Strayer, and Morgan Zenner. Special rec recognition goes for, for to fourth grader Sam Edwards, who won a gold medal and had a $40 gift card for his project. Sixth grader Casey Hennessy also won a gold medal, a $40 gift card, and an invitation to apply National Science Fair competition. Kyle Feller got overall first place for the sixth graders in his science fair category, a $50 gift card, and an invitation to go to the national competition as well. Congratulations to all who, s who participated. You did a great job representing our school. The specialist awards go to Ms. Michelle's fifth grade class for science. Music goes to Ms. Huber's third grade class. And art goes to Ms. Haberlock's third grade class. Today's birthdays are? None. Today's lunch is? Popcorn chicken. Steamed carrot. Fresh vegetable choice. Chicken flavored brown rice. Variety fruit. And milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is. French toast stick. And of course, daily entree choice. Today's weather is. A high of 41. And a low of 32. With a chance of snow. Now to our experimental science feature with Casey and Kyle. Seeing not a hive. Hi, Hi HB. I'm Casey and I'm Kyle and we are the Mankato Science Fair winners. We both came up with a, an idea for a science fair project this year. Mine was called Mind Your Own Business and I was testing to see if a distraction affects kids our age on speed on a math test. I did a project called Fantastic Shrimp. I said I did if I put different chemicals in water to see if brine shrimp could hatch in it. The first thing we had to do was we had to come up with an idea for our project. And then, and then we had to actually perform the experiment. And then what we did was we analyzed our data. And then we went to the Harriet Bishop Science Fair, where we both got a purple ribbon, meaning we got to go to the Mankato Regional Science Fair. At the Regional Science Fair, we had to perform our projects again in front of some more judges in hopes, hopes that, that we would get, get a, a, a pro an award and a purple ribbon. And we both did get a purple ribbon, and, we, and therefore we got a cash reward. And we also got a certificate saying that we got to move on to the next level, which was very exciting. Now, we were nominated for the next level, and so we're hoping that we get in. I had so much fun doing the science fair, wouldn't you agree? I did, I do. And I also think that everyone should do it because it's, it's an amazing experience and you get to learn so much about things that you, about a topic that you want to know more about. Now to Outside the Hive. Bye. Bye. Welcome back, HB. Just a correction, all the, n all the names that we read to you went to the, sci the Mankato Science Fair and are not going to Washington, D.C. 
I'm Hannah. And I'm Regan. And, and this, this is, is Outside, Outside the Hive. Hive. Today's topic is... Science Fair Facts. Here's the first fact. The first American National Science Fair was won by Alan J. Fetcher when he was 18 years old. He demonstrated the laws of motion. Wow, that's awesome. Our next cool fact is... The National Masters Science Fair is held in Washington, D.C. Washington, that's where Kyle and Casey is going. I wish I could go there. Now we have some science experience experiments that we want to tell you about. You could do the baking soda experiment. That experiment is cool and fun. Yeah, here's the next experiment. You could do the balloon experiment. How do you do that? This is how. First you blow up a balloon and knot it at the end. Next you take it and rub it on your head to give it static electricity. Then you turn on the water, not too much, but the appropriate amount. Then you put it, the balloon next to it and you can make the water move. I need to try that at home. You should, but ask before you do it. I will. Well, now it's time to go. See, See you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Stiles Creek, I should sleep, it's keeping me awake It's the house telling you to close your eyes And something